right, this is Sandra. Here's a French result of the barbecue smoke pool chicken. This is made with a chicken breast and my famous barbecue sauce to make this a very good southern style smoked chicken salad. This is shredded and it's shredded just right so that you can enjoy the southern taste of old fashioned southern barbecue. Instead of poor pork, you can use poor chicken. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating and try this recipe. Go to soulfoodqueen.net. Look at that bun. Toasted bun. Go to soulfoodqueen.net and get this recipe. And I know you will enjoy it to serve to your family. This is Sandra. This is smoke pool chicken sandwich. Just like the pool pork, you can turn into a smoke chicken sandwich. This is Sandra. Happy eating. Okay, now we're going to add the Rebel. Now this is a Rebel season that I get from a local store. And I'm pretty sure you can find this also in your store. This uh, chicken or pork or beef seasoning. And I put it on real heavy because I like for it to have a good penetration on the chicken. So I'm going to put it on the other side like this very heavy because we're gonna smoke this and we don't want it to be very seasoned so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna let this stay in this sink for about two hours and then we're gonna place it on the grill place this on the grill and we're gonna let this smoke for oh i guess maybe two hours or three we're gonna let this smoke so this is sandra and we're going to put this on the grill after two hours. All right, we're on the grill. We got the grill smoking. Yes, indeed, the grill is smoking, ready for that chicken. So we're going to raise the grill up and see that smoke. Woo! I'm telling you, I can smoke some meat. So what I have in this is a big hunk of hickory i have the grill down very very low not high high heat because i want this chicken to smoke and get that good old hickory smell out of the chicken that's what i want to do see that i'm just laying this big old chicken breast on top of the grill because i want the grill to smoke this chicken i don't want it too fast too low I, I mean i just want it just perfect and you can see the smoke in the trees look at that <laughs> i'm telling you you can see the smoke in the trees where the smoke is coming from this grill okay now i'm gonna let it smoke on this one side for about 30 minutes and i'm gonna turn it over again and let it smoke again so i'm gonna close it down and let that smoke of that hickory. You see that big piece of hickory? Oh, that big old piece of hickory. When you're in the country, you get some big hickory like that. So what I'm gonna do is let it cook and smoke for 30 minutes on the side with the bone and come back and turn it over again and let it smoke on the skin side for about 30 minutes and turn it back on the other side of the bone for about 30 minutes. And this is where it has that smoke. And then you let it just really smoke after they're turning three times like the first time second time third time and just let it smoke for about an hour and if it's juicy enough then we'll see you pull it apart i'm gonna show you how to do that okay we'll be back and show you what's coming on next with this pulled chicken barbecue and man i have a great recipe for that okay this is sandra don't go anywhere all right now it been cooking for 30 to 35 minutes this chicken pool barbecue we're gonna open it up and look at it oh my goodness look at this let's turn it over that's what you want you want it just like that turn on the other side look at that 
You know, this is what I call almost ready to cook. Ready to eat, excuse me. Ready to eat. This is what I call a good old smoke chicken breast. Look at that. So we let it smoke. 30 minutes on the other side, and then we're going to turn it over another 30 minutes. We're going to make sure that it's juicy, and when we get ready to pull that chicken apart, oh, what's that show you this sauce? Okay, this is uh, the second turn over. Let it cook for 30 minutes. We're going to turn it over again. Now, I know it's some barbecue peoples out there, but hey, I could barbecue too. I could get down with the barbecue. Okay, here we go. We're going to close it down. And we're going to come back and look at the other side. Turn it over for 30 minutes. And we'll be back in 30 minutes. Maybe 20 minutes because it looks like it's getting done the um, way we want it. All right, we're going to do the barbecue sauce for the pulled chicken barbecue. And we're going to do that now. By adding oil, just a little oil in this saucepan, and we're going to add some celery, I mean not celery, we're going to add some bell pepper, red and green bell pepper and onion. We're going to saute this like that, just to get it all kind of softened in the pan. Just soft. Now, my daddy Willie, my granddaddy, used to have a barbecue pit. And that barbecue pit, he would make his own barbecue sauce. Now, we didn't know the recipe to his barbecue sauce, but it was so famous because in Buffalo, Texas, where we was raised, he uh, had a barbecue pit, and people all over in that neighborhood in the area, next county, would go and buy his barbecue and his uh, sauce. His barbecue pit was Willis Barbecue Pit going to Houston, Texas, about 250 miles from Houston, Texas. My granddad did a lot of things. That's on my mom, my mom, dad. He did a lot of things. He did watermelons and he did uh, purple peas, corn. He did everything. So he was very prosperous by doing things like that. So what we're doing is letting this saute and getting this saute. So the barbecue, uh, Wizard, my granddaddy, had a big fire pit. <laughs> yeah, a big fire pit. Underneath there, he would have a big hog on top of these tin, uh, tin sheets. And at the bottom would be a fire. And at the top would be a fire. And at the top would crackle those, the pork skins. And then at the bottom would be the meat cooking. I thought that was something else, but that's what he had. So what we're doing now is this uh, barbecue sauce is not like his because my Aunt Helen had the barbecue sauce recipe and we never got it from her from when my granddaddy died. We never did get the recipe from him and my grandmother had passed away and she's the one who would do the cooking, the sweets and stuff and the uh, desserts and the, uh, and the vegetables and stuff. But we never got it from her either. So. I advise y'all to get recipes from people who do good job on a recipe because you don't know what's going to happen, really. Okay, while we got that done, I'm going to let that simmer because I need to get some vinegar. Just some stuffing. You can use apple cider vinegar if you like. I just use plain vinegar. Okay, now this is sauteed enough. You just want it to be a little softened in the oil. So what we're going to do now is add some ketchup. Ketchup. Like that. And then we're going to add some mustard. Now this mustard is a regular classic American mustard. I'm going to stir this up like that. 
Now that smells good already. Then we're going to add this garlic. I always add garlic last because garlic have a tendency to burn. So we're going to leave this like this. Now I want to put the vinegar in there. Just the vinegar. Maybe just like that, you know. Put the vinegar in there. The vinegar is in a barbecue sauce. And then we're going to use some brown sugar. I'll get some brown sugar and do it just like that. I know that's enough for this little pot. Give it a little sweetness to it. And see how that's coming down like that? Oh, yeah. See how that is down like that? And that's what that's supposed to be like. Now we're going to add some salt and a little pepper. Put it down a little bit. So we don't want all the vegetables to be too cooked. A little salt, a little black pepper. Now you can put any spice you want in your barbecue sauce. Now we want it semi-hot. I want it semi-hot. So I'm going to use my peppuccino with the semi-hot. So it won't be so spicy. Now you can use cayenne pepper if you like. Let's just use a little peppuccino give it a little spice taste to it. And that'll be it right there. That'll be it. And as that simmer like that, that smells good and taste it. Oh, tastes good. Taste the brown sugar. Taste um, the garlic. Now I'm used this right here. I love this. Best choice came out with this sweet and tangy barbecue sauce, y'all. It is so good. And it just costs only 59 cents. 69 cents. It was 69 cents. And I thought, you know, a lot of them because I thought there was just one sale. But that's the regular price of this thing. So I got the barbecue sauce. And I'm going to squeeze it in like that. Squeeze this in and make that sauce. Now, everybody have their way of doing that sauce. But this sauce right here is delicious. Because, see, what we're going to do when we pull that chicken away from the bone you can see all those vegetables in there see all those vegetables in there and that sauce that was give it a plus give it an extra plus we're gonna put some more in there because we're gonna put on how many sauce how much sauce people gonna want on their uh pulled chicken smoked pulled chicken y'all okay and this is all i do and then i have a tendency Oh, that's so good. I need a little bit more mustard in Just a little bit more mustard. Just a little bit more mustard, y'all. And maybe a touch more of vinegar. Like that. Maybe a touch more of vinegar. And no more brown sugar. It's perfect because it's already have honey in the barbecue sauce. And we're going to let this simmer. Boom. Oh. Now, you can put some hickory smoke liquid in this. I don't have any. I'm out of the hickory liquid, hickory liquid smoke. I'm out of that. So, that's a plus that you put in there. Maybe about a tablespoon to this mixture here. And you'll be having everything together. But I don't have any liquid hickory smoke. But luckily, I have... The hickory wood on that chicken and that's good enough okay what I do now mm, that's so good oh y'all that's good all the things missing the hickory liquid smoke okay what I'm gonna do now is take this little pan and sit it on the grill while the chicken is smoking so the smoke from the um, smoking from the a barbecue grill can penetrate this okay we'll be back with the finished product mr sandra don't go away back on the grill now and you can see that they have the barbecue uh sauce on the grill so the smoke can penetrate and as it cook the um chicken and you can tell right here the chicken is getting done See that? Let that's done. So what we're gonna do is turn it over again. See how done it is? And we're gonna let we're gonna turn it over again. 
I'm going to turn it over just like that. Turn it over again. And we're going to let the fire go down. Once the fire has went down. And what we're doing now is then to cook another, maybe another 15 minutes on the opposite side. Because this is the third time we turned it over. And looking at it, it's really juicy. And it's really, um, looking at it, it's real juicy again. And we don't want it to overcook because we want it to be juicy when we pull it apart. So what we're going to do is leave the um, barbecue sauce. I'm going to leave it up a little bit. And we're going to close it down and cover that. Don't let that come out too much. You know, that's what makes it uh, real hot. So we're going to let that cover that to make it smoke about another 15 minutes. And it should be ready to get ready to pull. This is Sandra again. We're going to come back and let you see what's happening. Okay, we're back with the pull, pull, well, the pull chicken. We're going to show you how to pull this chicken. I'm going to show you how to pull this beautiful chicken. Look how beautiful that is inside. That is so beautiful. And it's cooked perfectly. Perfectly cooked. And I believe you will love the way this looks. We're going to put some of this on this side. Chicken came out real good. I let the chicken cool because it was too hot to try to pull. So what we're going to do is just pull it away with a fork. Pull it away like that. Now everybody do theirs different, but this is how I do mine. Just pull it away with the fork like this. Now you can simmer this in the oven, and you know you can simmer it on the grill also. But I didn't want to simmer it in the grill, and you could do that that procedure by simmering it on the grill. But what I'm doing is pulling it away in shreds like this. And it is so smelling good up in the house. Oh, it smells so good. Now you can put as many pieces as you want, how big a piece as you want. But I just like to pull it like that. And then this thing, I'm going to eat that. It's so good. Okay. See how you're shredding it? Shredding it like that. Oh, this is so good, y'all. I hope y'all try this because, man, I can do some barbecue chicken. I hate to brag, but it's delicious. So we're pulling this apart like this. And some people want to eat theirs whole and cut it. And you can do that. You can do that, but on the second go round, when you turn it right over the second time, and the third time, you can take it off if you want to eat it like uh, with vegetables or something like that. And out of salmon. We're going to make a salmon out of this. Out of one of them. And uh, just pull it in with the fork. Coming loose. And you want it done. You want it kind of done. And you want it kind of, you know, tender. So that's about it right there. That's one that we can do with the pulled pork. We can do that one like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is add the sauce and make the sandwich. We're going to make the sandwich because we're going to have a pulled chicken sandwich with um, some fries. I like fries with mine. And I'm going to shred this a little bit more if we want, just like that. Shred it. And I'm going to try shredding real good. That's what you want to do. Shred it. Okay. Now, we might as well do this whole side of it like this. I'm going to leave the other. I'm going to leave the other for a dinner. I'm just going to do some for sandwiches. That's how you do your meals. You do your meals in economical ways, you know. One for dinner, one for a snack, or one for a sandwich. Whatever you want. 
I like to put some of this in there too. This little overcooked like that. I like that to be in there too. And this, oh, I like to eat that. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, now, I believe we got all we're going to use on this. I think this is all. See that back there? That is really good. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. But this is so good. <clears throat> okay, we're going to shred this up <coughs> with the knife. Okay. And that's it right there. Put this to the side. And we'll get our sauce. There's our sauce with the bell peppers and everything in there. Let's do a little like that on the side. And we're going to dress it together like that. Let's dress it together like that. With the fork. Toss it together. Now you can have it real saucy. I could just have it semi-saucy. So we're going to put it in semi-saucy. <coughs> Make it a mess. Let's put a little bit more on that like that. Make it semi. Like this. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, for coughing, because this is so good. Okay, now we can have it just like that. And we will be right back and plate it up for you. Okay, we're back with the pool smoke barbecue chicken. And I use a breast. I gave you a... Uh, Instructions on how to do it and look it is so fabulous y'all. It's so fabulous. Look at that It is so fabulous now you can soak it with the barbecue sauce the homemade barbecue sauce if you want Or you can just have it semi like this and add barbecue sauce on top now. This is what I'm going to do with mine I barbecue. I mean I grilled raw rather my bread and I Put the chicken on top like that. I like the chicken on. I mean, you know, I like it just like that. Then I got some potatoes to go with it. And I like it like that. The sandwich like that. And then I like to put mustard on mine. Just a little mustard. And then I can add some more sauce like that. I want some more sauce. With the bell peppers, I like for the bell peppers to show and everything. And the fries. The fries, the garlic fries. And I like to put that on top of that. And look at that sandwich. That is poor smoked chicken. This is what this is. We're going to cut it. And let you see what it looks like inside. And that's going to be Cut it. Look at that oozing out. Oh, that is what I like. I like that oozing out, y'all. Look at that sandwich. Look at that sandwich, y'all. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. Look at that sandwich. Mmm. I'm telling you, that is a good sandwich. And look at that. Oh, you can sop that up with the with the uh, fries like that. <laughs> that is so good. Okay, this is Sandra. I hope you try this pool smoked barbecue chicken. It is delicious. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers that come to my site. Thank you for coming to my channel. I will leave com comments on yours. I'd like to visit your site because it has so many beautiful things to look at. But give me a time. Give me a minute. If I don't get a chance to get to it right then, it'll be the next day. Because I love every last one of my subscribers' channel. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. And try this delicious pulled pork barbecue smoked chicken. This is Sandra. Say happy eating.